which I was scared to death because I don't have to tell you I'm white and it was a totally minority school and I didn't and I knew they had in excess of 12 gangs and uh, I didn't think they would want me there and so but I went and the first day I was there before school started one gang member threw another one through the plate glass window at the front of the school and I went out and blood was just shooting from his throat and that I thought, was your very first day it was my first day and the school hadn't even opened yet and I I said I must be some kind of crazy old woman to be out here thinking I can make a difference in this school because I didn't have a clue about how to deal with gangs or uh, at all. You figured it out though? Well I finally figured it out but it was interesting they told me that they didn't tell me that until I was there that uh, the former principal of a gang, one gang had a contract out on her life and uh, and I began to think maybe they had an ulterior motive sending me out there. <laughs> and then I learned that nobody else wanted the school. So I thought, if I'm going to do what Ashley wanted to do, which was truly make the world a better place, then I've, I've got to stick with it and I've got to go with it. And so I did. So and, you turned the place around. Well, we did. Don't be and modest now. We <laughs> did. We did. And the gangsters helped me. They the really, gangsters helped they, you? The gangsters helped me a lot. What really happened was, uh, one day I came in from a meeting and there was a riot on the campus and, and ambulances were taking police officers away where they had been trying to settle things down. And so when I went in, I mean, I, I was bewildered. I really didn't have a clue what to do. And my assistant principals were going to send 32 gang members to alternative schools to get them off campus. The problem is we had done that over and over and over and nothing changed. So I said, no, we're not gonna do it. So they came to me and said, you know, you will probably be fired for this because you're breaking the rules. And I thought then what a blessing it would be if they fired me. And so I said, no, we're going to do this because in education we keep doing really dumb things over and over, even if it's not working. So, it, and they all, another rule was you don't ever bring rival gangs together right. to discuss anything. But I did, and I, and I brought them in, into my uh, conference room, and I asked them what it would take to, to bring peace into their lives and peace into the school. And at first they wouldn't talk to me, and they, 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 didn't, they would just look, uh, mean mug each other, and then they would mean mug me, and I was determined not to be scared by mean mugging. And it's just looking mean and, and looking like I'm, you know, I've, I've got you and I want to do something to you. And so I just kept sitting there and, and I inside, said... Inside, were you frightened? Inside I was frightened, but they didn't know it. And I would just smile and say, let's talk about this. And my daughter, who was a psychotherapist, she would always say, let's get in touch with your feelings. I hated it when she said that to me. So I didn't say that to them. I just said, let's talk about this and see what we can do. 